sometimes when I do reviews, I don't like to just review things like, oh, this lipstick or this eyeshadow. Sometimes I like to review experiences. This is one of those times. Hi, this is Deborah, also known as Doobage42 with Tuesday Reviews. And today I want to review my experience with going to those painting classes where you get a group of people, one leader is in the front and they lead you through painting stuff. Even if you have zero skills, like me, it's fun. They do a great job with this. Now I've been to two different places over the years that do this uh, paint in a group activity. One is in Habersham County, Georgia, and I'll get their exact location of their website and put it in the link below because I know they've moved recently. And another one is in the upstate of South Carolina that has several locations, and that's called Upstate Art. Now the ones in South Carolina are a BYOB painting experience. No, not bring your own brushes, bring your own bottle. If you wanna bring some wine, they have wine openers there, you can pour your wine, you can drink wine while, you know, while painting your little masterpiece. Um, or you don't have to, bring a soda. They'll even provide water for the designated driver. Not a problem. Um, the prices vary. Now I know that at Upstate Art, they have some that are $20 and they have some that are up to about $40. I think depending on the complexity of the painting and the time of day. Now I have done several of these. Mind you, I'm not an artist by any means, but I do enjoy sitting around and painting along with somebody to try to help get past that nervousness I have about screwing it up because that's what happens. I'm afraid I'm going to mess something up and they assure you, A, it's just paint, B, you can paint over your mistake, or C, make that mistake part of your painting because it's yours. Now I'm gonna show you some of the ones I've done. So far, I've done a total of three. This is the very first one that I did. I had never painted anything before ever. No hate, please. Doesn't quite all fit in the, in the picture here on the video, but it's just a little mountain water sort of blurry scene. And it was fun. I sat there and painted this and I was like, wow, this is something I have never done. Got a little outside of my comfort zone and came home with a finished painting that even had my initials on it. Yes, indeed. The second one that I did at that same place in Habersham County was a little bit different. I went with a group of friends and we did these, sort of a swirly dark tree on a background that kind of fades from one into another. I didn't quite know how to fade it very well, but you know what? I love the colors and it's fun and whimsical and there is no right or wrong way. So yeah, I enjoyed it and I keep it around and sometimes I look at it and go, wow, A, that was a fun evening with all of us getting together and just painting these things and critiquing each other and just having fun. And B, you know what? I did that. That's something I made. Sometimes that's a little bit of an ego boost. And after not having done any painting for several years, I went to Uptown Art in Greenville and I went with a friend who had never done any at all and he was terrified that he was gonna screw up. I'm like, you'll do fine, trust me. I think his turned out better than mine, even though he'd never done it before. And it was this one, sort of daisies. And it looks pretty good from a distance because of the way it fades. I learned some new techniques, um, which is fun. And I got to paint something I'd never done before. I thought that was cool. And the instructors make it so much fun. They encourage you, they come around, they get your paint for you. You don't have to worry about choosing your paints, you know, from the shelf. They come and squirt some out for you. The way do it, they do it there. It's really cool. They put paper down on the big tables and you have a little easel set up on the table. They just squirt the paint right on the table. Mix that, use that as your palette. You don't have to worry about spilling any because it's already there. Awesome, just don't dip your brush into your wine glass and don't pick up the water from rinsing your brushes and drink it thinking it's your wine. Yeah, that could be a bad thing. That's the only bad thing about this experience. This is one of the $20 ones. Um, I wanna go back again and again and again, just time and all my flipping overtime keeps me from doing it. But it's a fun way to relax, to do something maybe you haven't done before. Stretch those creative muscles a little bit. 
um, try them out. You probably have one of these of one name brand or another in your area. I know in Greenville, there are several other ones that do this. I've been to Uptown Art. Um, if you know of any others, leave a link below. I know Uptown Art also has like a loyalty program. After so many, you get a free one. Hello, who doesn't like doing a free thing? So have an evening out or an afternoon out because they do some afternoon ones. That's why this one was only $20. It was in the afternoon. Um, and like I said, you come home with something that you did. If you don't like it, paint over it and do something else. But if you do, pat yourself on the back. Thanks for joining me for Tuesday Reviews. Links to more reviews on lots of different stuff right up here. Please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.